Blizzard, the company famous for sexual harassment, employee suicides, and uh, having a Bill Cosby shrine? Anyway, they have been working on Overwatch 2, a sequel to the massive hit that was, well, Overwatch. But the issue is, Overwatch 2 isn't actually a sequel. It's a glorified update that's being sold as a sequel. Visually, this is gonna get confusing. That gameplay you just briefly saw was from Overwatch 2. Now, I know it looks almost identical to the original Overwatch, so here's a hint. If you're ever curious about which game I'm showing on screen, look at the alt UI. This is Overwatch 1's, and this is Overwatch 2. That is the main visual difference between the two games. Keep in mind that they were made six years apart. I always prefer games with an interesting art style over being uber realistic, which is the topic for another video I'm currently working on, but my point is because of its visuals and all that ass, whoa, holy, where are her organs? It's safe to say that Overwatch caught my attention almost immediately. I loved the first Overwatch. And the only reason why I stopped playing it was because I got a PC and couldn't transfer over my account, which meant I lost my account level, all my cosmetics, the amount of hours that I spent trying to get the graffiti skin just to not be able to use it on PC. I'm still mad about this. Fuck you, Blizzard. I hope you get sued again. Um, anyway. The gameplay was fun, it was great with friends, and easy to make new friends. Depending on the lobby, of course. Ever since they've announced Overwatch 2, I've been a little confused on what the 2 means exactly. Because this game is like Fortnite, where it can just live through updates, and it's not the kind of game that really needs a sequel. So why make one? At the time, I thought that they were maybe doing some huge graphics overhaul or something on the new Unreal 5 engine. Obviously, I was wrong about that, but even if they were to have done that, it didn't make sense to me, because the original game is not that old, and because of its art style, I'd say it's aged quite well, actually. So it wouldn't be like making, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, Team Fortress 3 in the Source 2 engine, Valve? You know, I think that'd be a massive hit. And Overwatch 2 can't just be a couple new maps or new characters or reworks because they could just do that with updates in the original game. Overwatch was a great game. Great game. I put over a thousand hours into Overwatch, okay? That being said, if Overwatch 2 is a couple new maps and some heroes, I will be very disappointed. So I sat on my tushy and waited patiently to find out what Overwatch 2 actually was. And I finally got my answer, because recently the beta for it has been released and been streamed heavily. And while I didn't really care to try and get an access key, I checked out some streams so I could finally get some answers. And all I got was... more questions. Mainly focusing around the IQ of the frat boys working at Blizzard currently. Because this game... is... O Overwatch 1. Same graphics. Same characters, same maps, different time of day though. The uh, only actual change that they made is now it's 5v5 instead of 6v6. And to be completely fair, this is like a good change. I, I think it's, it's a great change because Overwatch 1 was a clusterfuck to play and watch. But that's about the only good thing I have to say about Overwatch 2. The rest of the changes are things like... Um, they added a new character, they took out shields, McCree is now named Brian, and Bastion has a hat. A and that's, that's it. No, no, really. Wait, no, they also added a scoreboard, that's right, okay, yeah, never mind, no. Totally new game, here, Blizzard, take my money! I am baffled. I, I just don't get it. This shield rework could have been tested and done in updates. The new designs of the characters could have just been more cosmetics. I don't know, but it's literal ape brain shit that this is being sold as a new game. I see people on Twitter calling this game Overwatch 1.5, but even that's generous. The title Overwatch 2 
was just terrible marketing. And it's got people outraged because they thought this was going to be a sequel, when it's really not that. But that title is going to work in Blizzard's favor and result in people who aren't looking into it currently just taking that name, that 2, at face value and buying the game assuming it's a sequel, when the, the actual content makes it more like a DLC. And worst of all, it will probably have that hefty AAA new game price. There's still a community in Overwatch 1, although I'm not exactly sure how big it is, but now all the focus will be going into this new game that is almost identical to the old one, forcing them to buy the same game twice if they ever want to see updates again. The stupid part is it's going to sell. Now, I'm saying this game is going to sell, that's my prediction, but I could be completely wrong, just looking at the queue times of Overwatch 2, because they're about the same as Overwatch 1, and that shouldn't be the case for a new game. How in the Overwatch 2 beta is there still a 10 minute queue time? Like, seriously, these are massive queue times. You could watch this video right here before even connecting to a match. Go ahead. Try it. That video didn't get as many views as I hoped it would, so... Shameless plug. Overwatch 2 is so dog-ass that I'm actually gonna have to defend COD, because while they make the same boring game every year, they do change up the campaigns, the time periods, the zombies, and basically everything but the actual gameplay. And while COD isn't the most creative game out there, it gets so many more points than whatever Overwatch 2 is. Overwatch 2 is a scam, but I doubt me or anyone else saying that is going to stop Blizzard from making a massive payday when this game gets released. At least I won't be one of the losers who caves and buys this shit. Hopefully. <laughs>